Hi there. I thought I'd do a video um, showing how stacking pedals can get you uh, a tone or a sound that's better than the sound of the pedals on their own. Um, one thing I, I see a lot of people do over the years, and I probably did it myself, <clears throat> is they have one pedal for their crunch sound and then they turn that off and then they turn this other one on and that's their their lead sound or their heavy sound and they're you know stomping back and forth whereas I think a more natural way to, to set it up is to have your your clean sound I'll go run through that in a second your clean sound and you add this for your crunch and then you add this for your heavy sound so you're stacking gain on top of each other so I'll, show, I'll put this on. This is my clean sound, okay? So. I'm just treating this as an amp. Uh, so you can see the, the settings. So. That'd be a fairly normal clean amp sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. This is my clean sound. So, I want to... Now make get my crunch my crunch sound going so I'm going to use a tube screamer for this. Back the gain off a little bit. Okay, so, so now I have a clean sound and a crunch sound. Sounds a little toppy to me. Yeah. Now, that's a great crunch sound for me, but something like a Tube Screamer, it doesn't have enough gain to be a heavy distortion, um, you know, for hard rock or, or even for metal or anything like that, so... Um, you know, rather than just maxing out the drive here and losing your, your nice crunch sound, what I like to do is to take another pedal. Now this, the, the Boss DS1 here, doesn't sound good on its own. That's I, my personal opinion. I don't think it sounds good on its own. It might, might be with certain amps, with the right settings it can do, but as with all the knobs at 12 o'clock, here's what it sounds like. It's fizzy and... There's no nice mids there. I mean, we can mess around with the tone a bit. Put the tone back. It's a little bit quieter than the clean, so. But I think that's horrible, to be honest. And um, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't use that. I can only imagine that loud gig volumes, that would get worse. The fizziness and the mushy low end would just be more apparent. But... If we run this pedal into this pedal, we keep the overall character of the Tube Screamer. We keep that nice crunchy mids, the definition. But we're adding another gain stage to the, the signal here. So we've got our clean, and then we add in our crunch, and then we add in our, oh, our distortion. So back to the clean sound. Our crunch sound. And then added this. Now, to me, that sounds better ran through the Tube Screamer than it does on its own. Back to on its own. Very muddy and mushy. Whereas when it's stacked with the Tube Screamer, it, it adds its own character to the kind of in, under, under the sound. You know, it's got some more of the fat low end and a bit of that fizzy top end. Which is good to cut through, but you keep the, the overall character of the Tube Screamer. It just sounds like the Tube Screamer, but more, more gain, a bit more low end. So, like, if I was setting up my, my clean crunching lead sounds, you know, I could I would do it that way. I would have my clean, my crunch, and then this from my lead. <laughs> So, the point
point I'm trying to get across is this pedal on its own, I think sounds awful. But when used in conjunction with another pedal, it's all of a sudden become useful again. So you might have a pedal at home that you don't use or you know you didn't like the sound of it or it's you like certain things about it but it doesn't quite do it for you so you don't use it. Well maybe dust it off, try stacking it with some other pedals and you might come up with some some sounds you do like. Um also you can mess around with the order that you stack pedals in. I mean if if for some if if say you preferred the the overall sound of this one, put this second and run the tube screamer into that. Stack your gain a different way and you you'll your overall character will be more from this pedal than this one. So it's it's all about experimenting and and having fun with it and messing around and getting different sounds going so <laughs> Have fun, mess around, experiment, and uh, see what you come up with.